This is Fred Ricciani. In this interview, we chat with actors Virginia Gardner and Grace Caroline Curry of the new thriller film Fall, coming to theaters August 12th. Grace and Virginia, thank you so much for joining us. We're looking forward to Fall in theaters. Can you tell us how you got involved with this film? It was in the middle of the pandemic when we made this movie. We were one of the first productions back and um, we were both sent the script and I remember reading it and my palms were sweating and I just kept thinking, geez, if I'm having this reaction now, what are audiences going to think when they see this in theaters, you know, it was so bananas exciting. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, we got to do a chemistry read together and I slid into Ginny's DMs because I had her name ahead of time. And I was like, hey, <laughs> you want to practice our scenes together? And we did. We had like two days over FaceTime where we, we ran through them. We kind of dissected the characters ourselves before we presented it to Scott. Um, and I think it, it ultimately made a big difference and it had a good payoff. I love that. So the chemistry between you two, while it did seem to come natural, was a lot of work uh, that went into it. That, 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 that's so awesome and everything. Now, when you two first read the script, were you worried that you actually had to climb some high things? Well, we did. It was all practical. It wasn't green screen. It was all real and it was a hundred feet up. So we read the script. And when we met with our director, Scott, he was like, you don't have a fear of heights, do you? Because this is if we're doing it for real, this isn't going to be a green screen. So everything you see, we, we did our own stunts. It was a hundred feet off the ground on a 2000 foot mountain. It's all real. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, that is wild. Yeah. New fear unlocked. Definitely the, the heights were, were taking it to new heights. Oh, yeah. intended. And then also the, the, the vultures, not to give too much away, but you know, what did they use for the vultures? Those were some scary scenes. Real we vultures. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we had a vulture that came to set and um, it, I was saying it feels like Jurassic Park, you know, they're, they're like the vulture is on set and there's this car and it's big and there's a cage in the back and I couldn't quite see the vulture yet. And then sure enough, you know, there's its eye and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's the vulture. There's my uh, my other co-star. Okay. None were hurt making the movie, the, but, but there was a real vulture on set that we used. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So real heights, real vultures. Uh, you two are no stranger to some big productions, but were there any things that challenged you that you learned about yourselves as actors in the making of Fall? The entirety of the shoot was uh, the hardest thing I have ever done in my life and might ever do, I think. <laughs> uh, I mean, the physicality, the emotional, not to mention being outside in the elements and like dealing with bug infestations and storms and... I mean, what more could you have? We had everything that could go wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, I was never aware that I would be capable of so many, so many like stunts and physicality. And I think we both surprised ourselves. And it's just great to know, like, oh, I'm capable of more than I would think, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. Now, you two both also had a chance to work with Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who, of course, everybody knows as Negan from The Walking Dead, just a badass actor. I'm sure it was super cool to work with him. But did you two learn anything from him from watching him and working with him on this film? Um, I just think it was really awesome what he what he brought as Becky's dad. I mean, it just breaks my heart when I see um his performance in this because he's he just loves her so much and he's so good at playing a dad isn't he like he just really pulls on your heartstrings anytime he's the dad of anyone you immediately take his side and not the kid's side right <laughs> listen to jeffrey dean morgan already stop being a brat and listen to him <laughs> So that's definitely a good moral of the story uh, for sure. Now, before we let you two go, we always like to ask some kind of random rapid fire questions just to get to know you better. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. Favorite actors in films growing up? Is there like one you can narrow it down to for each? Christian Bale. Ooh. I don't, I don't know. Now I'm stressed. I'm going to say Dakota Fanning. This is a little girl. She like inspired me as she was a young actress. Yeah. Awesome. Besides the heights that you climbed and fall in the making of the film, What's the highest thing you've climbed, like in real life? Notch Mountain in Colorado, <laughs> in Nikes. It's a kind of a crazy, crazy hike. Very long, very many hours. This was a long. Is is a lot. <laughs> so you want to intentionally prepped yourself for fall? Uh, this was after fall. I can't believe oh, I okay. did it. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. Wow. 
I did some crazy hike in Utah, but I'll never remember the name of it. <laughs> what was the most awkward moment in filming fall? The most awkward? There were so many. I don't know. I mean, what about when the giant clump of bugs fell during the scene into our shoe? When you're oh. it and it was just like, what? <laughs> also, I got, we had like a bee infestation. There was one take where I got stung by a bee in the, in the middle of the scene, but I didn't know if you could tell on camera. So I just tried to keep going with like the stinger in my hand the whole time. <laughs> hey, well, you got through it, right? Yeah, we got through it. We lived. Yeah. For yeah. sure. And, and of course, you two are, are, are both big parts of you know the DC universe, uh, the Marvel universe and everything. And it's pretty cool. That you two are coming together. It's almost kind of like a multiverse of DC and, and Marvel characters. How cool is it to have that kind of loyal fan support for all these projects like fall? Wow, I guess they're going to be coming together for fall, huh? That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> It's really cool. It's so awesome. I mean, the passion that uh, DC fans have is incredible. Um, and I, I hope that I get them to to watch fall. And I also get all the jokes of, you know, why didn't you just fly off the tower? Why didn't you call Shazam? And it's like, I'm Becky. I don't have the connections to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like two incredibly loyal and and fantastic fan bases. So it's it's wonderful once you've kind of dipped your toe into that world and and hopefully they'll continue to to follow us to other projects. And what's your advice for aspiring actors watching this? Take classes, kick your own ass, treat it, you know, treat it athletes, you know, train themselves physically all the time. And I don't know that actors always have the same mentality about it, but train like an athlete, train your ability and and keep going. Yeah. Start somewhere. If you want to do it, start somewhere, but also know that it's going to take a long time of developing experiences. Cause it's just like all these tiny experiences that we've had have built upon themselves and will continue to. Um, but the actress I was two years ago, I mm -hmm. mean, I mean, we filmed this a little while ago, didn't we? I guess technically five years ago. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she would have been up to the challenge for fall. So, but all those other experience in between really helped get me there. Love that. And we'll get you out of here on a high note. Oh, no pun intended. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Why should everybody watch fall? To be scared, to be freaked out. It's so stressful. That's not really a spell, is it? But it's really immersive and you should see it in theaters because how often do we get taken out of our brains while watching a movie? So much of what we consume these days, we're hyper analyzing and, you know, we all know the formula at this point with movies, but this one gets you in your body, your heartbeat going and your palms sweating and definitely one to bring a group, you know, to the theaters with. So you can just watch them act so scared and uncomfortable. <laughs> I second everything Grace just said.